Welcome everybody to a look at an imprint release that was released in uh, February and it is 1956's The Mountain. So this is directed by Edward Dimitrik who also did Murder My Sweet, Walk on the Wild Side, The Sniper and The Devil Commands. All four films that I've really rather enjoyed, Murder My Sweet being my favourite of the bunch. And yeah, this is an adventure drama that clocks in at 105 minutes long, had a budget of around $2.1 million, um, which was quite a lot for 1956. But it only had a box office gross of around 1.8 million, so it unfortunately was not a success. But it does star Spencer Tracy, which who was in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, Judgment at Nuremberg, and Bad Day at Black Rock. Three awesome films. If you've never seen them, I highly recommend them. And also stars Robert Wagner, who was in the Austin Powers trilogy. But more importantly to me, who was in the likes of Towering Inferno and Between Heaven and Hell, two of my all-time favourite films. But it was also in the absolute disastrous film that is Airport 1979. Also stars Claire Trevor, who was in Stagecoach, Key Largo, Murder My Sweet, so we're reuniting with Edward Dimitrik there, uh, Raw Deal, Dead End and Man Without a Star. So yeah, this is about selfish Chris Teller who pushes his older brother, a retired climber, to accompany him on a treacherous alpine climb to loot the bodies of plane crash victims. So uh, yeah, with two great leads, a solid supporting cast and an engrossing plot, this is, despite not being all that full of surprises, is still a rather enjoyable watch. The production is also well done. The score is excellent. The climbing scenes are suitably tense, with some uh, graphic injury detail for 1956 in one scene. The uh, characterisation of the two leads is well executed. The plane crash miniature looks really rather good. The setting is used well, as it's set in, you know, Alpine, you know, like Switzerland kind of area. And uh, yeah, it is a shot really rather effectively as well. Sure, you can see um, some of the production uh, elements in terms of like the back screen projection and the like, but because obviously I would not expect um, a 56 year old Spencer Tracy to be going around climbing. Um, but yeah, it's still a rather excellent film in the, in how it executes the setting and uh, still looks really rather nice as well. So uh, yeah, with this release, you get a uh, nice slip cover. And on the disc you set yourself, it's a 1080p high definition presentation from a 2K scan of the original negative uh, by Paramount Pictures themselves. It's got audio commentary by film historian Howard Berger. And then you got Above the Precipice, actor Robert Wagner remembers 20th Century Fox, Spencer Tracy and The Mountain, which was from 2022. And uh, yeah, director Ad Edward Dimitrik on the Hollywood 10, a 1990 interview, archival interview with him. So yeah, not quite sure why it took so long for this to get to me. I didn't order it with anything else that was supposed to be released later this year. So yeah, not quite sure why a February release took so long to get to me. But I'm really, really glad I got it. Because it is, a, like I said, a really rather enjoyable adventure drama. A little bit old school, even for 1956. There's a disc as well with the inner case. But still, really rather enjoyable effort. I can imagine the uh, pacing might not be to suit to the standards of some people as yeah it it's a little bit old school in its pacing you don't get really to the mountain for a good half hour or so but once you do get onto the mountain itself and all of that and the characterization that builds to that when you're on the mountain it's thoroughly engrossing and the cast the two leads are really really great together as yeah when they're on the mountain they're all alone for uh, the majority of the time so uh, yeah you really get to know them as characters but the actors also get to flex their muscles a little bit as well so uh, yeah Highly recommend it if you've not seen it, but if you have seen it, then I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. We'll also be reviewing another release from Imprint that came out in February. Again, not sure why that took so long to get to me, but yeah, you should see that tomorrow. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you with the next one. Bye.